Hi guys. Hey, uh, I'm going to enter into the Saturday night short track group build. It's put on by Mike at Skill Model Outlaw and Jason at Blue Ox Model Shop. And it's basically any short track, dirt car, pavement car, anything, you know, sprint car, I guess. Um, anything that runs, you know, your Friday, Saturday night, you know, kind of thing. Um, it's not a NASCAR build, but, excuse me. So, anyway, with that, um, I thought I'd build a taxi. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Well, not only am I going to build one taxi, but I'm going to build two. Um, but they're not actually going to be taxis. Because years ago, my brother and his buddy kind of screwed my future all up because they built this. And when they built that, um, yeah, everything kind of changed. Um, here's a picture of uh, my brother on the right. Uh, his buddy Bruce holding his son Eric and then I'm a little dork with the big tube socks um, yeah well they uh, built that and after that my love for racing just totally exploded and 40 years later I'm still somewhat involved want to get involved again um, when they did it, it was, uh, 1974 LTD, which this is a Galaxy, same basic car. Um, started out car number 23 and, uh, had a couple different sponsors, Don's Mobile Welding, Southern Arizona Roofing Company, um, couple things like that but then later on it became car number 28 and it had Amco transmissions uh, a and a radiator service I believe PNS racing team Parker and Shaney felt is what that was but uh, that was it later on it became 28 so with that in mind I am building both versions of it I'm going to do car number 23, and I'm going to do car number 28 with the different sponsor markings, stuff like that. I just got to find some place that I can get good decals made, and it ain't going to cost an arm and a leg, because um, the lettering was all pretty, you know, basic. Um, but anyway, well, that's what I'm throwing in. Uh, Thrown in uh, for the group build. It looks like a really neat build. There's going to be a lot of guys involved in this. And uh, definitely looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. They started May 1st. And it goes to May 1st when they start the second annual one of it. So, yeah. I figured, what the hell. I mean, um, yeah. The uh, car itself. There's not really a whole lot of it that's going to be used. Um basically the body and the interior which I'm not going to use more or less what I'm going to do if any of you guys know how with the Dremel that you can smooth out the carpet actually I may not even depend on, let me look at something here Chassis bottom, yeah. Chassis bottom, I may be able to use because you know there's no carpet, there's no whatever on the inside of a race car. It's got the floor pans. Um, now figure out something, cut the back seat out. Cause what I'm at do it. I know take a Dremel and smooth out all the door panel and cut out the back seat and uh, gonna make a aluminum firewall. Um, it was all flat black inside, but uh, what I'm curious about is taking all that contour of the carpet out 
I don't know. I'll figure out something. But yeah, I mean, there's no dashboard. Um, oh, good. This does not have a building exhaust system. That's good. Um, cool. I've built a couple of these. I've got one as a police car I'm building, and I'm also building a second one right now. It's almost done of uh, the white lightning car. Um, there's a dashboard. Don't need any of that. That was completely gone. Um, some of the motor parts, the wheels. Basically, I'm just using it for the body and the chassis and the motor. Um, there's the, uh, hood. So yeah, that'd be a fun, definitely a fun build. Firewall, um, motor parts, briefcases. I don't think those are going to fit into a race car real well. Um, it's not going to fit the, the vibe. Uh, bench seat, not going to be able to use that. Not unless I cut it down. Even then, eh. It's kind of big. I think they had a seat out of a Mustang or something. I can't remember what it was. But, yeah, I'm trying to do a lot of this off of memory, guys. Um, I mean, I was that old. 10, 11, 12, something more in that range. And uh, the car... Um, was Bruce and his wife, Gail. It was their street car. And we lived in an apartment complex and uh, ended up, they bought this house right down the road. And so we ended up uh, going down there and using, you know, the carport to build the car and everything. But basically it just had a single roll bar built in, door bars, and that was it. I mean, it wasn't, anything fancy in the interior it wasn't like a you know full setup uh roll cage or you know anything like that so um yeah like i said i've got three pictures to work with those are the only pictures i know of that my brother had um my brother gave me this one um so i gotta find wagon wheels if any of you guys know where i can find some wagon wheels um, that would be great too. Um, cause I remember we had, uh, like a street, you know, car front tire, but then on the back, it was like a, uh, almost like a snow tire or, a um, small truck, like a Ranger or, um, S10, um, kind of a back tire. Um, cause it was a half mile, uh, dirt oval. Um, as the old, uh, used to be called Corona Speedway in Tucson, Arizona. And uh, it was a half mile track. The wall, that, that's the actual wall. Uh, wooden planks for a crash wall around uh, turn three and four. Um, I don't remember one and two, but yeah, just a half mile dirt track. And uh, a lot of fun. Definitely got me hooked. Um, and like I said, you know, it was, it was fun stripping a street car down, taking all the glass out, taking all the interior out, taking everything out of it, and making it into a race car. I mean, that that's what set me. I mean, over 40 years I've worked on sprint cars. I've worked on dirt weight models mostly. Uh, street stocks, um, did a year working on a NASCAR, uh, Southwest series car. Um, you know, just all kinds of stuff. And it's all because of this car. Um, it got me hooked and I absolutely love it. So anyway, guys, well, that's what I'm tossing into the ring and, uh, yeah, it'll be a pretty fun build. So, like I said, I'm going to do both versions. It's going to be a 23 and the 28. So, pretty cool. All right, guys. Hey, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Glad you found it. And uh, you guys stay tuned for more fun to come. It's going to be a very interesting year building these. And um, 
who knows what else I'll end up, I may end up throwing something else in the ring too, who knows, but uh, yeah, well, along with RC stuff and race car stuff, you know, the uh, model builds, it's going to be busy, so anyway, take care guys, hope you're all doing great out there, and uh, talk to you later, thanks.